Appearances are never what they seem. My first impression of our meeting was the friendly greeting of Slot's trailer, lot number one. It helps to get a feel for the interview to immerse yourself. After all, the frosty greeting of snow-covered roads in his driveway may have led me to believe I was misguided in my quest. After all, I had been from Chattanooga to Santa Fe, Houston to Miami, searching for this man. And what? His phone was disconnected. He didn't return my calls. In this small town of Baroda, in the backwoods of Michigan, the main street is a dead end. this um, new album of yours uh, I believe it's uh, it's uh, goes by the name of um, a cadaver in a whiskey bottle cadaver in a whiskey bottle right um, uh, tell us a little bit about that um, some people feel that this uh, might be your album of uh, coming of age uh, this might be your album you know coming of age album you know you that smell. Hey, Tell me a little bit about that uh, work there. Hey, uh, I was, uh, oh my, um, you have quite the place here. Um, what shows you, what, what was your choice in, uh, <laughs> what was the uh, motivation? I mean, the river? So, Slots, uh, you haven't moved closer to Nashville? You gotta go out. Missouri? No. No. So, Slots, the uh, members of the, uh, the band, uh, the Rattlesnakes, um, the rat, the rattlesnake yeah. stranglers, right, right. Um, Ronnie, tell us about Ronnie, please. Yeah, you know you put putting it there. Um, the one to, together. I see, I see. You've really nailed that down for us. Um, what do you think of the uh, new album? How do you think oh, the uh, sound gosh. will affect your fans? <laughs> Uh, I am a personal fan of your work. Um, I, I saw a show in uh, North Platte, Nebraska, and also uh, uh, Haver, Montana. Montana. You're about the Montana, Montana show, show. Uh, the Haver show. Yeah. There was also a Billings yeah. show, yes. Two nights. Two nights, yes, yes, and two nights. nights. It, they were great nights. Who did it The Haver show? In Montana. Yeah, that 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 was a uh, that was quite a show, quite a show. That's Montana. Yeah, Montana. Country. Country. Hmm. Mm. Well, what, are you, what are you talking about? I was talking about the uh, phenomenal record sales that you've been making, and and uh, and the improvements in the the country community. What? Um, 
have uh, a big influence on the uh, current country scene um, as, as far as um, as far as, as money goes uh, I mean you you uh, you rack in a, a pretty good sum yes last fuck one. Okay, quite well fuck I'm good if you shoved up your ass where's your next fucking question your record sales. Your record sales are. Uh, your record sales are phenomenal, and uh, I, I wonder, perhaps you know, what what the uh, money flow. You know, uh, you're, you're living here. Is there is that by choice or? Uh, your your idols, uh, your influences as a musician. Um, how do you think that those? Uh, uh, what are your your three major ones? Would you say you know the the ones that really stick out in your mind? Uh, Dylan or even Meryl Haggard? Uh, I'm sure. I'm sure you have said that in other interviews before, haven't you? You you've said that in other interviews before, correct? I don't see Meryl Haggard. I ain't no fucking okay from this. Maybe maybe there's a better time for us to talk. I didn't know that Meryl Haggard was such a uh ah. Moments later, Slots attempted to give me the run for my money with a baseball bat down the block. Parts of this film have been heavily modified due to record label concerns. Black as Cracker Productions agreed to allow select footage from this interview and gave me comp tickets for a Dayton, Ohio show due to Slots' bad behavior. Slots was a no-show, and all tickets were refunded for the venue.